Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lucy Goosey and welcome back to well, my survival series episode 5 and uh, You'll see in a little bit. Uh, I just went mining for a little bit and got some full iron and you'll see the ups and downs of that little adventure that I had but here's the iron that I got and uh, Yeah, so that was pretty fun and you'll see a little bit of that and today I figured what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our house a bit more. We're gonna uh, work on our farms a bit more, and just kind of clean everything up. And I also am gonna show you this little thing down here, and we're gonna design it and make it bigger. So uh, I hope you enjoy this little mining segment that I put together. It's not all of the mining I did, but it's kind of like the little highlights. So I hope you enjoy, and yeah, check it out. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that little mining segment that I did. Uh, as you can see, I died from a creeper, and I actually died twice. After I got blown up the first time, I ran back there, got my stuff, turned around, there was another creeper there, he blew me up, I had to go back, get my stuff, and then I just ran home. So, here's the iron I got. Like I said, I didn't show everything on that little mining segment, but I got 33 iron, and I was just sick and tired of dying. So, we need some protection, so we're gonna make some iron armor, because... We're not going to die to any more creeper explosions because that is annoying. So yeah, I'll just make the iron armor for now and then we can use the leftover for tools if we ever need them. But there we go, we got full iron armor. So that's pretty cool and time to go into the new place. Alright, so down here I just built a little tiny room with uh, all of our little valuables and different things with the chest. And it's like, it's really bland and boring. So in this episode we're going to spice in this room up a bit. And we're going to spice in the house up a bit and spice in our farms up a bit. So I'll see you guys when we start working on the different things. Okay, so I figured off we'd, uh, or figured that we would start out with, uh, designing this little room. And I decided to put, like, little furnaces here. And I just made the other ones. And we've got some issues here. This is cobblestone back here when it should be stone. So we're going to smelt up some stone and fill that in. And then we'll get working on the walls a bit make a little design and actually make the room a bit bigger so I'll see you guys when we start working on that all right guys so I actually started clearing this little area out and I decided that what we're gonna do is kind of make an octagon shape so this area is right here it's actually gonna be five out like one two three four five and then we'll put the diagonals in and put it across and make a big armory with all our chest and our armor and our weapons so that would be pretty cool and yeah, I'll start clearing this out, and I'll see you guys once it's all cleared out, and we start working on the floor and ceiling and walls. Okay, guys, so I'm just finishing up this back wall here, and then we should probably get some lighting in here so uh, no mob spawn and we don't get killed by a creeper again. But we also have that full iron, so that should protect us a bit. But we finished up this little back wall, and I think this is a good size. It will fit about 20 chests, and... Once we get like the stone brick and the cobblestone and the ceiling, it'll actually look pretty cool. So, uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out the flooring, and I'll actually put the stone. I'll try to get all the stone brick in today, but we'll see if we have enough cobblestone and coal to cook it up to stone. Cause we don't have silk touch, and that's what I was saying about silk touch. Is man, it's the best thing to have when you want to work with like stone or with ice or something like that. Silk touch is just so awesome. 
Plus, it can also get you, like, secret blocks in the game, so, like, uh, the mushroom blocks, those are pretty cool. So, yeah, I'll continue breaking this up, and then we'll put the stone bricks in, and we'll see how it looks. Alrighty, guys, so I cleared out all the floor, and I have some stone bricks left over from what I did earlier, so we'll see how much this fills up, and then I'll start smelting the rest of the cobblestone, and then we'll tear down the walls so that we can, uh, put stone in instead of the dirt that's in the wall, so... There's a bit of dirt up here, and we can also take out the ceiling, but uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to clear out the bit of dirt in the wall. Actually, we don't need to take out this level because it, that's where the floor is going to go, but I'm going to put this, I'm going to put the cobblestone in the furnace, and I actually don't have that much um, coal, so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, wood, and we'll cook up that much, and we'll just see how much that cooks up and start taking out this wall so yeah I really like this kind of uh, room technique where you put the stone brick and then you got the cobblestone roof and stone walls we might add a bit of detail to it but I don't really think the room needs it but we'll see and then depending on how many chests we can make or how many chests looks good we'll have them even though most of them will just be for decoration but uh yeah, we, I really like to stay organized when I do series like this because, or when I do worlds like this, because after a while you're like, oh man, I need all all this stuff and I don't have it, and so it's really nice to be organized and know where everything is, so you, uh, you never have to be in that situation. So yeah, we're just taking out this roof and hopefully getting enough stone to fill in the walls and the, uh, the floor. So yeah, I'll see you guys once we finish up the roofs and when the stone's all done smelting. Okay, so we've got 32 stone brick here, so that should be enough for the floor. And I was going to turn this into slabs, but if I make a floor beneath this, it doesn't really look that good with the slabs there. But it also conserves blocks, so whenever you're building, if you want to like a little bit of a tip, and we actually don't have enough there, but whenever you're building and uh, you don't really have much of a block, and that's going to be like the bottom floor or the top floor, you can always use slabs because it saves blocks and it looks the same so I was gonna do that for my roof and I just didn't think of it when I started building it but uh, yeah that's always a tip that I like to use when I'm building and it looks like we're gonna run out of cobblestone here so we might have to go mining for some because I don't know if I have any more but I'll see you guys after I get more cobblestone and finish up the roof and the walls and the floor so yeah Alrighty guys, so I finished off the ceiling and I finished off the walls and all we need now is just a bit more stone for the uh, the floor. But I also decided that I'm going to put stairs here so that if I do end up putting chests all around here that uh, we can actually put three instead of just two. And Because if you have a regular block there you can't actually open the chest. But with stairs you can and you can't tell the difference. So that, I also had stairs here. And I just didn't really bother to take them down. But I did have stairs there so that, you see, I can open this chest anyways. And you can't tell that it's a stair. So that's what I did. And we'll see if we have enough stone. Oh, yeah, we definitely have enough stone to finish up the floor. I'll just turn this into stone brick. And we'll finish up the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So the floor is all finished up. And now what I got to do is I got to start taking everything out of the chest and moving the chest over to a new spot in our armory and making it look all nice so I'll see you guys after I've got all these chests set up and organized alright guys it's time to make some chests so I did a little bit of wood cutting and I've got a little bit of wood so we're gonna come down here and this is how it's looking we got some chests going and some organization but we don't have all the chests filled so I don't really know how much wood we're actually gonna need to make all these chests because I didn't really add it up, but this is going to make eight chests right here, which might actually be enough. We'll see. One, two, three, four. Nope, it's not even going to be close. But uh, we actually have to move these torches because I'm going to move the chest there. And we need one, two, three, four, wait, two, four, six, eight more. So I'm going to need a bit more wood. There we go. That makes 64. And this should be enough to finish off the chest in the room. So, yeah, we got all the chests in. And 
Uh, I haven't finished organizing, so once I do, uh, you guys can see that, and then after that, we'll do a bit of detailing around the room and a bit more organizational purposes, and I think that will be the episode there. So I'll see you guys after I finish organizing, and then we'll get to decorating. All right, guys. So I made some signs to put on the chest to like mark what each one is. And the one thing is, I usually use item frames, but item frames cause a lot of lag. So I really didn't want to do that, so I decided to use signs. And also, I have a chat pad, so I can actually write fairly quickly. Oh, wait, I don't know what this chest is. Ugh. Nope, <laughs> I'm still crouched. Alright, that's the one thing I gotta get used to. Alright, so this is like stone. Alright, oh, I accidentally clicked. Well, it doesn't matter. Go stone. All right, and I'm pretty sure this is wood. Yep, it's wood. Wood. But yeah, I really like using signs to uh, to um, be organized and things. So I actually know where everything is. And usually I would use um, like I said, usually I'd use item frames, but they cause a lot of lag, and I don't really want that. So yeah, that's miscellaneous blocks. I'll just put. It I actually don't know how to spell miscellaneous. Miscellaneous? That's definitely not right. Uh, I'm just gonna put miss like that, and I'll learn how to spell it and change it up for next time. But I also I should probably change it because I have a miscellaneous over here too. So we've got like farming materials in here. Farming. There we go. And in this one we've got. What is this? Uh, that's also miscellaneous so yeah I'll come up with a different name for that one over there just probably put like sand or something and actually I don't know what this one is this one's food all right food and this one is animal and the last two all right we got valuables valuables that's the one thing I'm not used to the trap pad and it's actually really sensitive but I've had the trap pad for a while just so I don't use it that often and lastly we got mob drops so there we go our chests are all organized and we know what's in each one because we got the signs so there we go I'm gonna finish up organizing the chest and I think that's gonna be the episode so I like to thank you all for watching uh, like the video if you liked it uh, subscribe if you really want to and peace out